Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared is equal to b plus 241. Let's call this equation 1. Then b squared is equal to a plus 241. Let's call this equation 2. So the question is what is the value of a and what is the value of b? Now let's prevent the solution from here. The first step is let's subtract equation 1 with equation 2. The first step is to subtract equation 1 with equation 2. So we have a squared minus b squared. This is equal to b plus 241 subtract a plus 241. So we have a squared minus b squared. This is equal to b plus 241 subtract a minus times plus 241. This is minus 241. So this implies that 241 here simplifies so that a squared minus b squared. This is equal to b minus a. So the next step from here we have that b minus a, let's take it on the left hand side, so that we have a squared minus b squared minus b plus a, this is equal to 0. So a squared minus b squared, this is the difference of two perfect squares, which you can express as x squared minus y squared. This is the same thing as x plus y, x minus y. So a squared minus b squared, this is the same thing as a plus b, a minus b. So this implies that we have a plus b, a minus b, then plus a minus b, this is equal to 0. So in this case that a minus b is common here, we can factor out a minus b, so that here we have a plus b, plus 1, this is equal to 0. Now, we need to note here that a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0. And also that a is not equal to b. So these conditions are paramount. So now, from what we have here, we have that a is equal to, that is a minus b is equal to 0, and the other part is a plus b plus 1, this is equal to 0. So from the first part here, a is equal to b. Now, this violates the condition that a is not equal to b. So this part is rejected. This part is rejected. And let's proceed from here. So we have a plus b, this is equal to minus 1. Let's call this equation 3. Let's call this equation 3. The next step is that we add equation. Let's add equation 1 with equation 2. So that implies that a squared plus b squared, this is equal to b plus 241 plus a plus 241. So this implies that a squared plus b squared this is equal to a plus b, then plus 482. But we know that a plus b from equation 3 here is minus 1. So this implies that a squared plus b squared, this is equal to minus 1 plus 482. Therefore, a squared plus b squared, this is equal to 482. 81. Let's call this equation 4. Now the next from here we have that from equation 3 from equation 3 which is a plus b this is equal to minus 1. Let's square both signs from here so that we have a squared plus b squared plus 2ab this is equal to minus 1 squared, which is 1. We have that a squared 
plus b squared, this is what we have as equation 4, which is 481. Then plus 2ab, this is equal to 1. Now, this implies that from here, we have 481. Now, let's take 1 on the left-hand side. Subtract 1 plus 2ab. This is equal to 0. So this implies that we have 480 plus 2ab. This is equal to 0. So let's take 480 on the right-hand side so that we have 2ab is equal to minus 480. So let's divide both signs by 2 here. So that A times B from here, this is minus 240. Now, we can make A to be the subject of the formula from here. Let's divide both signs by B. So that A is equal to negative 240 over B. Now, again, differing from equation 3, differing from equation 3, which is a plus b, this is equal to minus 1. Let's substitute the value of a, which is minus 240 over b. So minus 240 over b plus b, this is equal to minus 1. In this case, b is our whole number, so this is over 1. Minus 1 is our whole number, so this is over 1. So times b from here, times b, and times b. So here we have negative 240 plus b times b. This is b squared. This is equal to minus b. So let's take minus b on the left-hand side so that we have b squared plus b. Then subtract 240. This is equal to 0. We have b squared plus b minus 240. This is equal to 0. So this we can this is a quadratic equation that we can solve by factorization method. We have the product here equal to minus 240. We have the sum here equal to well, that is 1. So this implies that the factors are we have 16 and minus 15. So in this case, we'll have b squared plus 16b subtract 15b then minus 240 this is equal to 0 the next step from here b squared and 16b here we factor out b so that we have b plus 16 then subtract 15 into the bracket here we have b plus 16 this is equal to 0 so we have b into the parentheses, b plus 16 minus 15 and b plus 16. So from here we have b minus 15 and then b plus 16. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here, that is b minus 15, this is equal to 0. And we have that b plus 16, this is equal to 0. So this implies that b1 is equal to 15 b2 is equal to minus 16. So let's solve the corresponding values of a. If you recall, we have that a is equal to minus 240 over b. So this implies that a1 is equal to negative 240 over b1, which is 15. Now we have a1 is equal to minus 240 over 15. So if you simplify here by 15 1 by 15 minus 16. And we have that a2 is equal to minus 240 over b2 which is minus 16. Now if you simplify here by 16 1 by 16 this is 15. So we have that a1 comma b1 this is actually equal to minus 16 comma a1 which is equal to the first set of solution that is a1 b1 a1 is equal to minus 16 and b1 is equal to 15 
Then we have the second set of solution, that is A2, comma, B2, and this is equal to 15, comma, negative 16. So these are the first, these are the set of solutions that we have A1, B1, and A2, B2. The next step is to, to check. Let's check if these two value, these solutions satisfies the equation. Let's verify that A1, B1, and A2, B2 satisfies the equation. Let's verify. Now, if you recall, we have that A squared is equal to B plus 241. And equation 2, we have that B squared is equal to A plus 241. Now, substituting the first set of solutions, that is A1, comma B1, which is equal to minus 16 and 15. So, let's substitute this set of solutions in the first equation here. This is equation 1. Let's verify that the, these two set of solutions satisfies the equation. That is A1, B1, which is minus 16 and 15, and A2, B2, which is 15 minus 16. So, if you recall, we have that A squared is equal to B plus 241. And we have that B squared is equal to A plus 241. This is the first equation, and this is the second equation. So, let's check the first set of solution A1, B1 from here. So, we have minus 16 squared. This is equal to B, which is 15, plus 241. So you have minus 16 squared. This is 256, which is equal to 15 plus 241. This is 256. So that shows that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this verifies that the first set of solution, that is A1, B1, satisfies the equation. Now, let's check for A2, comma B2, which is equal to 15 minus 16. So, from the set of solution here, that is A squared is equal to B plus 241. So, here we have 15 squared. This is equal to negative 16 plus 241. So 15 squared, this is 225. And this is equal to minus 16 plus 241. And this is 225. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this verifies that the two set of solutions satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe.